And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, All Aboard, live with the Aussie Don. This is episode 79 on this 24th of March, 2024. How are we all doing? Welcome aboard. We're starting off today with some mod news for Train Sim World. And uh, we have uh, got uh, ourselves a um, couple new mods uh, to talk about. Uh, so let's, uh, without further ado, there has been an update to the KWG 193 Enhancement Pack by uh, Red Stoner. All right, let's have a look at it. Uh, so it has been updated. Uh, so uh, if we have a look at the README file, uh, I'll be able to download that and I'll be able to give you guys some details. Uh, let's have a look at the details on this one. So, um, all right, so there's nothing in regards to patch notes on there. So that's a little bit disappointing. I uh, would have liked to have seen that in this uh, README file, but anyway. Um, this mod replaces the headlight textures with more realistic ones and fixes the number uh, and the rail pool logos on the side to be more realistic. So uh, that is uh, been updated over the last 11 hours. Two days ago, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a tr Chinese, a Chinese, I, I translate some folks. Uh, so yeah, for all your Chinese happy hour, all right. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the Chinese race <laughs> well for MK2A West Coast Rail, uh, West Coast Rail C. Uh, WCRC uh, livery patch, uh, West Coast. Uh, it is a small patch uh, that which adds the uh, WCRC logos of both uh, TSO and FK variants of the MK2s, as included with the Flying Scotsman 60103 add-on DLC. Uh, some other major uh, adjustments, uh, minor adjustments, include a slight darkening uh, of the maroon livery. Uh, change the uh, visible uh, the, uh, the visible doors or whatever they're called uh, from the original yellow to green. Oh, very nice. Uh, and uh, we have the uh, change in the interiors uh, from the original 70s wooden trim uh, to the uh, more uh, pro uh, prototypical uh, fabrication of the 90s white trim. Mm, okay. It uh, looks like a snowman on the side there, looking at that photo back there. Let's have a look at uh, the photos inside, uh, though. As you can see, uh, them a little bit better in style. There they go. West Coast Railways. I thought it was, yes. Uh, so, I haven't downloaded this one yet, but I don't really do Steam too often. But I can throw these coaches on maybe uh, uh, HST or something. I don't know. Maybe. Can I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, we'll soon find out. Um, yeah, so there's another uh, one. I like how they've got the green doors now instead of the, the typical um, the typical uh, yellow. That would be nice. Um, when will the Japanese one? Uh, that's going to be coming later in the year, uh, Marcus. Uh, so do note that one. I would probably lean towards Season 2 of Train Sim World 4 for that one. Uh, so yeah. Um, uh, right. If you don't know about the Easter egg on the uh, overground. Um, yes. Uh, West Coast Railways on the side there. Beautiful, beautiful one. So that one is now available. Uh, that's by Speedy Heath. I like that one. That's quite good, actually. I'm going to download that one later on. Um, modified lights uh, from TSW from Train Sim World 3 are finally back for Train Sim World 4. Uh, I haven't actually gotten this one, but I did use this one in Train Sim World 4, 3, and I found it quite nice, actually. So uh, I might be downloading this one again uh, later on. Uh, it does require the time, uh, the time of day, uh, all that update. I oh, see the, all that hasn't been updated, so it's probably not worth it at the moment. But that, uh, that, that has been updated. Maybe you don't need those. I don't know. But anyway, that's uh, by best Scott. That's been updated. And the Goblin Line Substitute mod. This is more. Uh, I explained to you guys this one a couple of days ago. Um, this one is more so for the people that play a God mode. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to go any further than that. Uh, and uh, the Crossline City Enhancements, they've been updated four days ago. Uh, so that's been updated after the uh, the uh, Enhancement Pack from uh, Beth Scott, uh, London Midlands and Speed Heath. Uh, they've run back finally at long last the original Enhancement Pack for the Brighton, uh, for the Birmingham Cross City. Uh, so yeah, that now gives the official Birmingham Central uh, logo and everything at the, at the uh, station there. Um... And there has been a new bunch of containers that have been added as well. I did try these for a split second, but I didn't really like the detail on the side. It was a little bit blurry, in my opinion. 
so yeah, they are the uh, C uh, CR Express and other Chinese uh, uh, internet matter container. Yes, all right. So uh, that is by the uh, KCRC Railway and Rob S. All right. So uh, Rob S. evolved in that one. I would like to see the PO uh, and the Sail Marine on the side. That would be really cool. And and Tex. Uh, the Tex. T E X. Uh, so they're the ones I like to see um, added into the mix of the containers. All right. So that is another Chinese model. All right, uh, and Rob S has updated the uh, Great Western Express Enhancement Pack again. Absolute gem, I'll tell you that much. Um, sounds. Now, uh, Manny's wind, uh, weather from Train Civil 3 has returned for Train Civil 4. Very nicely done. Uh, so I have got this one installed. So we will be checking this one out later on with a thunderstorm trip. Uh, so that'll be planned for tonight. Uh, and we'll check out the uh, Manny's weather mod in live here tonight. Uh, so, yeah, do look forward to that. Uh, so, that has been added for Train Civil War. That was in Train Civil War 3. Now, it's been returned for Train Civil War 4. Uh, he has planned a update for it uh, at a later period uh, to adjust a few things. So, uh, yeah, he has already uh, confirmed that. Um, at the moment, it just gives better better effects in the cab and all that stuff uh, for Thunderstorm. Makes it more realistic. Uh, so, yeah, that has returned. Uh, we're still waiting for the Class M10 sound mod oh, from Itzia. I have actually messaged him uh, just before I've gone live tonight on uh, one of his videos he did two months ago on his YouTube channel uh, to get in contact because I'm banned from chatting on Train Sim community. Uh, so yeah, um, I can't be bothered with all the douchebags on there uh, replying because they you know, just reply a bunch of dribbles usually. Anyway, uh, there is a very exciting thing from PC Editor though. I have to say that much. Um, this one, the Cologne Arkin 2023 timetable. Yes, I have downloaded this one. Uh, so, um, have I got this for Tuesday night? No, maybe, yes, actually. Um, we might actually do one tonight, actually. The uh, Cologne Arkin 2023 timetable. I did say I was going to be doing a German run tonight, so actually, we'll do this tonight. Um, so yeah, uh, this um, currently work in progress with 11, uh, 15 and 16 fully completed uh, as well as the IC uh, slash ICE services and many around midnight services. Uh, all passenger services running on September 13, 2023 with capable, uh, couple, uh, ro uh, capable rolling stock, uh, which will be included uh, some, a some only as AI. All right. Uh, so he has uh, got services that are playable, services that are uh, uh, AI only and requirements. There's a whole heap of them. Uh, you need the clone uh, Arkham route uh, the, the itself, the New Journey suspension pack, the Kuzel Walsberg route. You need the uh, Vorarlberg uh, with the veteran, uh, Dresden, Risa. Uh, there's a whole heap of stuff you need. So, yeah, I've got everything anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, that's it. Uh, that has been uh, everything concluded, I think. Let's just double check and see. God mode was updated four days ago. There you go. If you use God mode, uh, God, no, I do not. Um, oh, and um, oh, okay. Uh, Jetwash has updated his, uh, so, uh, his one a couple of days ago. Um, and so has uh, this dude as well. Um, yeah, I um, have tried both of them and they're not really successful in my in my eyes but anyway i have got g-sync back on folks um uh, main tail barn will not be on today sorry uh we're not doing main tail barn today because um we are doing the brand new cologne timetable uh but first up ladies and gentlemen we have for you the brand new route london overground oh what a gem this is the only problems i have with this route are the behavior of the psis and once again you go and collect all the collectibles at the stations and they're not saving so, uh, yeah, those are the problems that I am still occurring. Now, I do not know if the passenger behavior is happening with me because I'm using DX12 and a custom engine. Uh, this is the problem. I really need to sort of just get off DX12 and the custom engine and just double check and see if it is working, if they work, if the behavior of the, PS, uh, the passengers are better. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm having passenger behavior issues you'll see them on my uploads you'll see them on live streams uh on wednesday anyway um i've been flat jet uh, flat chat 
I've been flat chat over the last few days. I uh, went to the uh, 2024 Sydney Royal Easter Show yesterday, took my daughter, and absolute fantastic day. Oh man, the main event, or the entertainment at the, towards the end, absolute masterpiece, absolute masterpiece. So uh, yeah, I have actually gotten a new mod, mod ladies and gentlemen. I uh, did a run on this earlier today with the Class 66. I have gotten the uh, Freightliner um, mod from the Train Sim community. Uh, so yes, uh, that is on there. Let me get rid of my display um, capture now and uh, we'll bring the game in. And uh, there we go, right. Um, um, main tail barn will not be on this week. Sorry, Marcus, not this week. Uh, class 710, right. We've got um, a poll vote going on already for Monday's live stream of viewer's choice. Um, we have two German ones and the Central Swires as the picks. Uh, Mütchen Osberg is one of the picks. And the other one I'm trying to think was uh, Brenham Oldenburg is the other pick uh, for you to choose for the following week's uh, episode, which will be the first one for April. Um, I'll see what I can do for Main Tail Barn on Tuesday um, for you, Marcus. Uh, I might, might throw one on there on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I'll put that on the I'll put that on the list for you. I'll do that on Tuesday. Okay. Um, there you go. Um, what are we gonna do? Uh, afternoon service maybe. Lunch service. We'll do a lunch service. Uh, from Barking Riverside, that's where I've got the cover photo. And we're gonna do it on a uh, nice light cloud, so that is the cover photo for today. All right, let's rock and roll. Uh, the cover photo hasn't changed, we've still got the, uh, I don't know why the spring sale's still on there, because that's finished, as far as I know. Um, yeah, that's done. Because, um, yeah, the spring sale's over, folks, so that's just ignore that. Um, that finished on Saturday morning here in Australia, so I uh, don't know why that's still there. Anyway. I've got a heap of shorts. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. I, I woke... I'm glad, I, I'm glad my daughter woke me up real early uh, to go to the Sydney Royal Easter show, I'll tell you right now, because uh, while I was waiting for my... Uh, wait, waiting for him at the station, uh, XPT came through. <laughs> I was absolutely cheering and it stopped at the station and I'm like, how the hell is it stopping here? <laughs> anyway, I was cheering. Um, so I know what times they stop on Saturdays now. So there you go. Um, don't, doesn't mean I'm not going to be up that early. I'm not usually up at eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> usually passed out still. Right. Don't need that. Okay, so yeah, passing your behavior is the only thing I've got wrong with this route, and I've got nothing else to say. A anything negative? Uh, probably maybe the sounds uh, that when they go over the over the um, like over tracks, like the one up here, it sounds crackly. So I don't know if you've heard that. It just sounds like crackling. Um, it's got nothing to do with my mic and everything because I've pulled everything off and cleaned my computer up. I've, my, my studio has actually been relocated back to the original area I had it when I first moved to the new location here. Uh, so it's no longer next to the air conditioner because, yeah, now summer's sli slowing down gradually, <laughs> even though it's still quite warm. But, yeah, the last couple of days have been quite cool, so... Yeah, so uh, if you are planning to go to the Royal Easter Show, I highly recommend you guys to stay for the main event and watch the Run Chicken Run. Oh my God, that's so f so hilarious! <laughs> and um, yeah, the the American guy versus the, from Texas versus the Aussie uh, in the uh, their little battle. It's uh, it's quite funny as well. It's it's very good. It's and the fireworks were probably the best fireworks I've seen ever at the Royal Easter Show. They they were they've had some decent fireworks over the years, but 
This year's was absolutely off its nut. They had salutes and all in it. It was really cool. And oh my God, the salutes were so loud. <laughs> oh, they were awesome. I own every route, Marcus. I just don't have everything in, everything installed. Yeah, here's that crackling I was talking about. I don't know if you can clearly hear that. Sounds shocking. Uh, it, it sounds like the crackling I used to have when I was live streaming through, um, through GeForce Experience. I, so I discovered today, actually, that you can actually, over the back uh, just there, you can actually see the skyline of London. Um, I know I've seen it in other parts, but I didn't actually realise that you can actually see it from Barking Riverside. So that's, yeah, I, I was trying to look for that when uh, I had it on launch day on Wednesday, and I couldn't see it. And then, yeah, I was uh, doing an upload of video, because I did a full trip on, actually, on the same, tr same uh, way I'm going right here, right now, uh, earlier today. It's got a premiere on the channel overnight, our time. Uh, so it'll be for your Sunday if you're overseas, folks. Um, more so in the afternoon, evening for uh, the UK viewers. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I uh, discovered that this afternoon, actually. I'm like, oh, wow, the, the, the skyline you can see from uh, Riverside. So... Um, yeah, going on Richie's um, theory the other day uh, with uh, him thinking that the skyline he's seeing with the season two thing is Toronto. Now I can I can probably I've um, been looking into it. I think it's definitely London. Uh, looking at the building in in there, it uh, it looks like in the background you can uh, is uh, the uh, London Bridge Station. So I say we're getting another TFL route in the heart of London. It could be another underground route. I've, I've got a feeling it could be underground. And um, that'll be about damn time because I've been calling for that for so long. And um, just anything underground, more so North uh, New York subway. But uh, um, ooh, what's going on here? That's um, very unusual. That didn't happen before. I've not had a freeze at that point before. Yeah, this is the uh, Golden Line, Safter Jet Line, was the Safter Jet Line to people now but the the original nickname for the northeast london route is um the goblin line but this uh, section we're in right now this is actually a combined of routes actually this is um the district route i think if i remember rightly the district route um is it the northern route and is it, i think there's like three routes at this section So, yeah, with the Japanese route, um, uh, I think it may sneak in here on the first year of Train Sim World 4. It's looking now, we're more like now we're getting, because uh, it says uh, on the Easter egg, um, you know, um, Season 2 coming, coming summer 2024, which is UK, US summer. And I state the obvious, well, it's always the major core update that it always happens towards the end of summer. For train sim walls, so 
Um, you know, I say that we're definitely not moving to Train Sim World 5 this year, which is great news. And uh, I say we're getting Train Sim World 4 Season 2. So what we we get to get a fancy name for Train Sim World every second, you know, number of Train Sim World now. <laughs> so we had Rush Hour for Train Sim World two, and we are two Train Sim Worlds later. We're gonna get another fancy name for it. <laughs> That's why I said it doesn't matter what they spin; it's still the same old Train Sim World. This station is barking. Doors will be opening up on the right side. Please mind the gap when departing the train. This is the biggest station on the route, folks. So there's an underground station here as well. Um, so yeah, there is an underground station. And uh, there is a cafe here as well. Very nice. You got the stairs up here. Um, I'm trying to get that information for where the other routes are. Uh, so you go to the platform uh, for the overground. And then this uh, platform is one to six for the underground. Ooh, here it is. Um, Hammers, uh, Hammersmith and City Line and District Line to London. I got a feeling we could be getting the District Line. I just got a gut feeling. And I've been on that route on Train Sim Classic and uh, it goes straight into the heart of London. So that's why I'm thinking we're going to be getting that for Train Sim well, for... Um, I reckon it'll be one of the free core routes for Transcend World 4 Season 2. And it makes sense because if you look at the pattern for for um, this year's train, like this last year's Transcend World, it's been two Metro route, uh, Metro Link routes. Um, it's, um, you know, you got the, uh, the German... German and then more of Austria route and then you got the more of Germany and then a little bit of Austria route so that's a number two and then you got um, you know you got your your first official just Austria route as well that's separate but um, the patterns are running on twos and the TFL license is now like major for trains as well so it makes sense for them to use more than just one so and this is actually the first official TFL route since the Bakerloo line, which was a core release for Train Sim World 2. So I say the district line will probably start at Barking and then it'll work its way into London. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't know that we had those. The Oh, I didn't know we had those running on here. Oh, oh I didn't know we had that freight in here on this route. So the district, uh, that'll go that way. It'll swing down up through there. And see London in the backdrop? Look, it's right in the backdrop there. Clearly. It's a fair few stops through there too. Now I don't work for Dovetail in any capacity, folks. So do do note, I'm not leaking anything. 
I'm just going off theories. I'm going off sort of what the pattern is at the moment and um, just the history, just just the, my basic knowledge of history of the of this simulator. Like, I've been playing Train Sim World since 2017, like, since, you know, it, it's beta days. And um, I've been doing the gameplay for the channel since 2019. So it's... Uh, It's just I didn't get my hands on that the game until 2019 because I was at my mate's house had a, he had a PC it was only on PC back those days before it went to console and uh, I started playing it when because it, it went to Xbox first before it went to PlayStation and I was just fortunate enough at that time I had both. I've still got a PS5. It's just sitting there. <laughs> it's waiting for GTA 6. <laughs> see what I mean about the passenger behavior? Like, you'll clearly see down here, all right, for instance. You watch this. So if it does it for this time around, it might behave itself today, actually. Is it this station that does it? Yeah. It's behaved itself on that one. And uh, Chris, uh, how you going, Chris? Uh, you were saying uh, before that uh, where is the sound? Well, when we have the countdown uh, leading into the stream, that's there's no sound. I don't... Um, I don't have music in the backdrop. It's more so I... The original sound theme I had uh, back a fair while ago now, I got a fake copyright claim for, for it. Um, it was that damn fake copper copywriting thing that, you know, them idiots that claim f copyright and they're, and they're actually fake. So, yeah, unfortunately, I had to pull the trigger on all those, all those uh, ones I had and delete them anyway just to get away with anyway um so yeah i'll, <coughs> I'll keep the theory <coughs> i'll keep the theory on it being district line My apologies, folks. I've been uh, doing half of the trip already with no sound. Ooh, beautiful church over there. there. There you can see the skyline more so of London. And there is the other part of London over the other side. Did I just go past the station? Oh, shit. I just done a mat. <laughs> oh, no. And Matt did that the other day on the preview for the flight circle. I'm like, oh. they're, they're talking away. I think I shot the map. Actually, when it happened. <laughs> Here I am showing the beautiful skyline in the background of London. And then, uh, yeah, of course, I'm running over a station. And that's the first time I've actually done that on this route, so there you go. And I did go four hours on this route on, uh, on our Wednesday stream last week. Don't forget, this Wednesday, folks, is the Fire Circle special. Um... After watching the preview, am I satisfied? No, I'm not. I'm so dis I, I'm, I'm, I was so threatening of cancelling the pre-order, to be brutally honest. Um, 
they've dropped the ball again. River Games have dropped the ball. Um, I would prefer them to delay the route, to be brutally honest, because there's so many things that are wrong. Abs the sounds are just shit. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse my French, but they are. They reckon they went and got the sources. That is a load of BS. Apparently, Dovetail turned around and saying, oh, we, we were planning to do this route before, and then we, before Ribbit turned around and said they were going to do it. Oh, man, when they said that, I'm like, you're joking. You, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have given this route to Ribbit. What, because they, they're from Scotland, you give it to them? What? Seriously, if you're going to do something, do it. You know what I mean? Don't hesitate. I would have preferred, like, I uh, know, like, I. Dovetail's quality is starting to get bit better, alright? The only problem that needs to be addressed is um, this NPC problem. And it, it seems to be this NPC problem is getting worse because they continue to add new characters and it's just causing more conflict. And I just think they really stop, got, got to stop adding new characters and mainly and concentrate on the core, uh, getting that core and, and, and tweak things around. So, yeah, I reckon this. This line system they've got for the NPCs. This is the problem. They need to get, bring us a free, free hands um, system where it's more the passengers look natural on the track uh, uh, when they walk and everything. More natural. Um, they're not work walking behind each other like they're about to gangbang. You know what I mean? Like it's just. Um, They can build a wall where they don't go through onto the tracks, of course. But let them have free, free roam around the around the platform. Because the way they come out of trains at the moment, it's like they're on a on on a on a travelator. Anyway, I'm not gonna argue and whinge and whine about it tonight I've, I've said my thing on my uploaded video earlier today uh, about the things that are wrong and uh, you'll hear that on that upload later on today so I'm just gonna leave it as is for right now this station coming up is Leighton Midland Road. Doors will be opening on the left side. Please make sure that you have an Oyster card and scan your Oyster card when leaving the station. Good question uh, by somebody actually at the Dovetail Forums about this route, and I have to agree 110% about this one. Um, are there plans to update the um, the the, um, the maps that we collect at the station? Because this is the old uh, map now. The tube map has been up. Uh, the overground map has been updated, and it's no longer all orange lines. It's, you know, this is the green line that we're on at the moment. Uh, so this one here, the green line, uh, the top one, there is uh, our one. Uh, so yes, I am definitely 110% uh, with the person on that one. Um, are we going to get an updated map? Now, the only way I think we could get an updated map, because I don't know if Dovetail will update it, um, is that we get somebody like London Midland and, and the crew that will do a enhancement pack for the route and they'll update the map and do it that way. And, and it makes sense for them to do that. And it's only going to be for the PC players. This is the problem. Uh, so I totally understand where this person's come from because he could be a console player. So 
So I, I would lo would lo hope and think that Dovetail, you know, sort of pink, you know, we can update it later on and with the map side of it. But uh, for now, I think the only way is, yeah, with the, the Hasbro pack, very similar to what we've got for Birmingham Cross City, Southeastern, uh, you know, East Coast Way, um, Brighton Main Line, so forth. Scenery is absolutely beautiful on this route, I have to say that much. It's uh, very green as well, and uh, the buildings are great. Lots of new assets, uh, lots of new buildings uh, in this as well. A lot of floating stuff though, including this one right here that I discovered earlier today. There you go. Uh, so there's one just there. And uh, you clearly see that these, uh, these uh, NPCs are also floating. Hmm. Yes. They have jetpacks. <laughs> A few others that people have discovered with the floating items as well. Um, I've seen that it's on the forum, and yeah, I uh, seen them today, and. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised after I seen that one. I thought, oh yeah, that'll be right. There's more, there's definitely more of them. I did explain uh, to the viewers because uh, I, I think I've seen that in the uploaded video actually, and I was talking about it on the uploaded video that I got premiering later on today. That um, I think the floating items thing sort of started with Cane Creek. I've got a whole heap of shorts I'm going to be posting up on the YouTube channel from the Royal Easter Show as well, folks. And uh, I've got a lot more truck uh, shorts to post up, and I've got uh, some more train stuff to post up as well. I've got so many shorts coming out and coming out at the moment. Like I've got 50 of them in, uh, stored on the computer here that I've got to post still, and I've got about probably about the same on the on the phone still. I've got to get up and. I've got the, the fireworks display, the finale, also uh, to post up onto the YouTube channel. And that'll be in a normal video, folks. I just need to edit it because uh, I had it in two parts. So I've just got to go into edit and just put it into one video. And uh, yeah, oh, what a great what a great fireworks display it was. I zoomed in on it as well, so it looks professional and you know got it like a TV sort of style. So yeah. Planning some more documentaries through the week of some uh, stations here in Sydney as well. Uh, so there's more of those that are going to be coming as well. Uh, so I'm going to be getting out and about and uh, getting some more of those organised. Uh, that's if I do get time. I might not get time. But uh, yeah, I might plan a day. See if I can get out. But, uh, yeah, that's not a guarantee though. It's not a guarantee. But uh, there will be more of uh, the station documentaries. Uh, Tours coming up. I've got a, our first two of them the other day. Let's see if this station uh, causes issues with the NPCs. Okay. Don't tell me I finally got a run there, they're not causing issues. 
So the district line is a underground route. Uh, so there you go, it is a part of the underground. Um, and it's uh, from up Mister in the east to Ed, uh, Edgeway uh, Road in the west, uh, which actually Edgeway Road is actually part uh, a station on the Bakerloo line. So you know what, that makes sense uh, for them to join that up. So basically, you know, they're gonna have uh, Bakerloo line linking up with that, linking up with, uh, you know, um, the South Jet line. It's connect, it's all got connections. It's And uh, that goes up through Richmond. And yeah, we have a Richmond here in Sydney, actually. That's <laughs> quite funny. think that'll go that far though um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the whole length of it be in the uh, train sim world though because there's 60 stations <laughs> <Hell no. laughs> I can imagine somebody doing 60 stations in train sim world <laughs> one route yeah good luck <laughs> Maybe it won't be the f it won't be the full lap. Surely not. Surely not. Not sixty stations. Okay, man. <laughs> Could be wrong now. <laughs> After that, I learned that. Oh, hopefully we. Ah, oh, okay. The S7 is one of the rolling stock. Oh, that train is so damn hard to drive in Train Sim Classic. Ah. Uh, the safety system on that thing is such a bugger. Yeah, because that thing's got the twisting handle, you gotta go in and twist. Uh, yeah, it's just such a bugger. Would be nice to see a different tube stock though, but uh, yeah. I say we probably would get it from Gospel Oak, so I don't think it'll be the full length. I, it, it just makes sense it won't be the full length. 60 stations, it definitely won't happen. No way. Yeah, I say Barking, uh, East Ham, up, uh, uh, Upton Park, um, Polesden, uh, West Ham. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, West Ham, it'll be in it. Um, uh, Bomling by by Bow, uh, Bow Road, Mile End, uh, Stempton, Whitechapel. Oh yeah, that's the Monopoly. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I think that we could get this route, and um, I reckon it could go to West Westminster. Would make sense. I uh, would be would be my bet. So I reckon uh, barking to Westminster for the uh, district line.
Oh, no, nah, it's got Victoria in it. Oh. Nah, take it to Victoria. Oh, hang on. Does it does it go down to... Um... Yeah, take it down to Victoria. Oh, yes. St. James's Park's there as well. That's not Newcastle, St. James Park, by the way. Um, yeah, that... That'll be quite interesting. Um, so, yeah, I reckon from Barking, definitely. It won't be the full length of the route, no way. <laughs> yeah, this uh, route, Samuel, yeah, it's um, a mixture of both. It's... Uh, Oh, this is northwest. Uh, this is northeast London, so it's uh, yeah, you're more in the northern suburbs and uh, like the, go down the east, like it's Barking and you know the northern sort of through here. Uh, it's ten times better than what Train Sim Classic's variant is. It's uh, obviously uh, Train Sim Classic variant uh, is before uh, TFL took over the route. And uh, oh, actually, is it? I don't. Oh, well, it's definitely before it was electrified. I know that in the Train Sim Classic variant. variant. But yeah, TFL uh, pumped a hell of a lot of money into this uh, to electrify the route into 25k, and uh, I'll put the. Uh, overhead wiring system in. It's had different types of electrifying like on the third rail over the years. But, uh... Yeah, there was talks for Sam, there was talks for a long time to overhead the route and never eventuated. Uh, there was a lot of times where uh, stations have closed and reopened and uh, there was even a stage where the route was almost dead completely. So, it's so been always a very heavy freight route. Uh, here's the station that has the passengers that come off the train stand in front of the doors. There we go. As you can see, I told you guys about the uh, effects before of uh, the uh, full jabber um, effect. It's like somebody is, uh... in trouble for that. Here comes the cement... cement once again. Oh, yeah. Cement, chemicals, that's what they sort of take those ones. Fuel, maybe? Yeah, fuel. That's good to see those in there. I, I didn't realise that we had those tankers in, in the route as well. <laughs> yeah, very heavily freight uh, route this one, and so it's true to reality. Here's the East Coast. I still haven't seen any traffic on here though. So called traffic that's supposed to be on here. <laughs> Have I seen it? Nope.
Crotch Hill. I think this station, uh, before, here it goes. Here it goes. This is the issue I'm talking about, folks. How they, they're on it like, like they're on a treadmill. And, uh, look at this. They pop on and off the train. And as soon as you, you know, like this, this needs to be addressed. And then, look at this. They gotta go through the doors. Look at this. See, look at that. They're on the train. All right, they get on the train. But yet, uh, they don't want to uh, stay on the train. <laughs> so, yeah, investigation needs to be... That needs to be flagged. I just need to investigate it myself because it could be just me because I'm using DX12 and um, DX12 is not officially supported by Dovetail. Like, I don't know why it should be. Like I said, I would love to see them with this year's major core update in September when we go to Season 2 for TSW4. That um, we um, still not official yet, but uh, I'm just going off theories of the Easter egg and everything and saying it would say the summer 2024 I'm just you know state the obvious um, because they've already said they've already built the beans that there's an Easter egg on here and it's gonna get people talking and it's like yeah well we're definitely talking <laughs> um, you basically shut JD out by just throwing it in the game <laughs> Even though JD can't even get on a live stream anymore, because, yeah. They've got the Alex that uh, has taken over everything. Absolutely beautiful loco, this one, I have to say, uh, this is, uh, this is right up there with the Class 700, uh, for me, so, uh, I've got different liveries I can get for it and whatnot, I just haven't just yet, I, I did have a couple at launch day and I've taken them away, um, one of them was Elizabeth and one of them was the South, Southwest Railways one, which is actually a true re to life reality, um, one, I didn't realise, it actually is a real, um, real paint job because uh, I seen uh, one of these locos uh, in a video a couple of days ago a guy done a video um, I don't think it was the 710 they called it something else it, it was something else but anyway um, it was on its first day at um, on a trip and it was at uh, Essen station it was, it was East, Eastern station or Western station they call it um, so yeah I've seen it take off from there, got a little video on there on YouTube I was watching, I was like, oh, this is really cool. Um, so yeah, I, as soon as i seen the, the video, I was like, oh wow, it is a real paint job um, for the Southwest Railways one. Which I had a feeling it was, I, like, I, I know the rail community is quite smart, so. There's that floating thing right there. Haha. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Floating wheelbarrow. That's a stupid place to put a wheelbarrow. <laughs> a mixture of rural and all urban. Adventure. 
certainly is. Sort of got that um, gloss blind feeling as well, you know, like parts, yeah. especially where those tunnel areas back there. <laughs> I found it, um, I was watching, um, was it Frame Sim TV, I think I, I, I was, I was watching earlier today. And uh, I actually found uh, that there's a little garden bed area. I think it's at Topton, actually, South Topton. There's a garden bed area, and you can open up the gate. And there's a little gar uh, community garden in there. I thought that was quite cool. And there's a goblin in there. Coming into Gospel Oak, this is the final destination. Train will be terminating at Gospel Oak. Doors will be opening up on the left side. All must leave the train. Any belongings left behind will be destroyed by security if not claimed within the first 24 hours. We thank you for choosing Overground for your service today and have a lovely day. Change here for connecting services. I certainly did, Richie. Um, I watched. I totally forgot about it. Actually, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm be very busy today, so um, yeah. And no, I haven't had the time to watch the Formula One, but I watched the highlights. And uh, as soon as Verstappen was out, I'm like, nah, not watching this. Game over. <laughs> Good to see Carlos Sainz win. Now, I'm, I actually am a fan of. Uh, I used to be a long-time Ferrari fan when Schumacher days, but uh, um, like I'm, I follow Red Bull these days. Um, and I'm, as much as you want to say things and that, folks, yeah, like that's whatever's happening. Whatever's happening, it's not about that for me. Um, I'm a Verstappen fan, so. Um, yeah, I always had, I always got, like, I, I never really have liked Lewis Hamilton, to be brutally honest, because I just, yeah, I just think he was an arrogant pig. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Uh, so, yeah. But um, I noticed for Staffan starting to come like that. <laughs> you know, like, it, it's good that, it's actually good now, like, it's opened up the door now, like, we finally got for Staffan. Um, like it's been beaten finally. You know, Kyler Science has won, which is great. And I think he was the first, if I remember rightly, he's the first driver to have gotten injured, like, or had some sort of injury and have come back a rate, uh, like just after injury, uh, the first race back and actually won the race. I think um, the last person to do that was, God, I think it was in the 90s. It, it's been, um, I think it was a German dude um, that did it. Um, Rosen... Berg, I think, or Reisenberg, some, some, uh, some German, I think, it, name it was, uh, but yeah, um, it's been a while since someone's come back from injury like that, but uh, yeah, when I seen, um, um, what's her name's Crash, um, what's his name, um, Russell, I seen his cr Crash, I'm like, I hope he's okay, you know, like, because he slammed all massive. I'm like, oh, hopefully he's all right. And, uh, yeah, when he come back at okay, I'm like, oh, that's good news, you know, like, because that was real, that was a big one. That was a big one. So, yeah, lucky. Anyway, uh, let's not, um, Arg Burger, that's right, yes. Um, Anyway, uh, we got a gold medal there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about trains now. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Formula One. Um, let's get into the uh, next trip, and uh, we're gonna be heading to uh, I think it was Germany, somewhere like that. Um, Alonso has gotten a penalty. For, uh, has he? Okay. Well, I didn't realize that. Um, so there you go. Um, oh, Glossop line. 
we're going to be doing that tonight. I'm not going to do that right now, actually. We're going to go and check out the... Uh, we're going to do that later on. Mm. Uh, but we're going to do the updated timetable now for the... Uh, uh, well, it's not an updated timetable. It's a mod timetable uh, for the uh, Colin Arkin. Uh, so here we go. So here it is, 2023 uh, timetable. Uh, this is a mod, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, showed you guys at the start of uh, the latest updated uh, information for mods. Uh, so that's something I, I like to keep informed with you guys these days now. We've um, given you an update to all things of the latest mods. So with our live streaming action, if there's new mods coming through uh, on the days uh, of our streaming, which is um, Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, uh, we'll keep you informed. So... Um, I go through here, I go through trains.cz. Actually, I haven't been through tra trains.cz um, today, so let's uh, have a look and see if there's anything coming through on there. Uh, the Train Symbol 4 No Limits and Spud Remover 1.3 has been uh, released on there. Um, but that was before I went away on the weekend. So, yeah. Um, anyway, this is the updated timetable. Um, with the, 20, the mod timetable. So, it's got a lot of options. Uh, for stuff. Uh, now with the 401 services, they're only short and sweet services because they they actually go off the radar. So uh, they're just like all six minute services and stuff like to the first station and whatnot. Um, so they're not really that fancy. Uh, the 423, uh, you got a bunch of services on here, like the 22 minute services, 40 minute services and that basically uh, same sort of stuff off the uh, timetable now. But you got S12 services and whatnot. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, the class 66 is on the route. Uh, so apparently, uh, in real life, uh, the class 66 runs on here. Uh, so there you go. Um, there you go. Um, but anyway, it is a mod version of the 66 because I got the, um, legendary, um, paint job. 193. This is uh, the one nine, eleven now, eleven one hour eleven. Man, that would take forever. Uh, so you got uh, that one just there, and uh, obviously you got the um, seven six six point two. Uh, so that's on here. Um, actually, does that run on here in the original? No, it's it doesn't, does it? There you go. Uh, so there's some. Big services on there too. Hey, that works out good. Um, so yeah, that that I like. Um, RE9 service uh, from Horn to Arken. Uh, this is uh, that's a, that's a night service though, so we're not going to do that because it's going to look too dark in the uh, stream. Uh, and then you got uh, a few others as well. Uh, I'll say that oh, there's a 101 as well. There's a 103, which is very interesting. Ooh. Uh, there is a 15 hours, uh, so you know what, we're going to take that one, the uh, IC9999, <laughs> good, how many nines do we need? Uh, we'll do this on a nice clear day, uh, do enjoy, here we go. Not sure how this is going to run, I haven't checked it out, um, I haven't had the chance to, um, so yeah. I did a few trips today and I ran out of time of doing this one because I was downloading um, the American Truck Simulator uploaded video that premiered a few hours before the live stream tonight. And uh, yeah. I've got a couple of premieres later on tonight for Train Sim World 4. So some uploaded videos. They'll premiere first at 1080p. Uh, they are 1440p 60 frames per second. I was thinking one of them was 4k, but it actually turns out when I went into the properties it turned it said 1440p. So um, Yeah, it corrected my uh, I, I, I changed the settings in the my program and I thought I was running 4k there for a few days because I've been Having issues, but it turns out it's the latest update to the program. that's actually caused the flickering uh, like the chattering that's been happening in my videos uh, So I went back to an older version of it and it's worked out. Um, I've seen that it's sort of fixed it, it fixed it up. Uh, anyway, let's get into it.
they are working because this is not a Todd Ford route. Um, they don't work as good. Passengers are loaded in the tr in the train, which is good news. And uh, there we go. So this is actually bound for Comlins. Arkin. You know, you're moving house on the uh, Easter weekend, uh, Richie. Easter next weekend. Nice uh, change of scenery then uh, for you. Well, good luck on that. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you. Um, that Easter egg, by the way, uh, that you're talking about. Um, I don't think it's what you think it was. I got a feeling um, that we are getting a train sim world for season two. Um, and I'm calling that uh, the, the, the city is definitely London. And um, I'm thinking it's the district line. Uh, from uh, I'm thinking it's the district line. And I'm going to say it's uh, going to be not all of the district line. It's going to be from... Um, from Barking, and oh, it's going to go down to Victoria. Or Westminster. Uh, no, not Westminster. No, no, no. Did I say Westminster before? I could be wrong. It is a over, it is an underground route though, so and it, it's the S7 and God, that train is so damn hard to drive in Train Sim Classic. So I'm hope I'm wrong, <laughs> to be honest, because if it's as bad as it is in Train Sim Classic, it's like oh God, help me. <laughs> like I've, that's one train I've always struggled, and that's one of the reasons why I got rid of the Just Trains route. But the only reason I got rid of the Just Trains route mainly. Because that thing is just, um, yeah, way, way too hard to drive. Now, what's going on? Why can't I get this up and running? That's off. have I done wrong? Why is the pentagraph not connected? Um, okay, well, I'm going to try that again. Um, something's definitely going on. Um, couldn't get it up and running. Don't know why. I'll try, try again. Pentagrave is raised. Handbrakes are not on. Train line power is on.
you stream with Wi-Fi? Oh man, that would be that would be so hard to do with Wi-Fi. If I streamed with Wi-Fi, it would just be I, I couldn't stream at this deep amount of detail. No way. You've got to have a wide connection when you when you, especially when you're live streaming. You you got to have a wide connection. Alright, let's close those doors. Uh, God knows what the hell happened then. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't start. Anyway. I'm going to try again. What's going on? I, I can't get this train up and going at all. It doesn't want to play ball. So, uh, we might have a dud timetable here, folks. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to uh, abandon that uh, trip, folks. Um, I'm going to go back to the timetable, though, and I'm going to have to do something else. Unfortunately, the uh, the uh, that particular loco is not working with the timetable, so I'm going to have to uh, get somebody to uh, message the guy at the Transcend community because I'm banned from chatting on there. So if someone can get on there and uh, let him know that the, uh, the loco is not moving, that'll be great. Um, all right. So that's a massive fail. All right, let's uh get it up and running. Uh, nine nine forty nine service. Huh? Oh, this time had a shit. Yeah, that'll be right. Starting a service and every damn passenger coming off the train. That'll be right. Yeah, of course. Yep. What's new? Yeah, they're all, of course it's empty. This is, man, this is the issue. Seriously, I don't, I don't care if it's come over from the bridge. But seriously, this, this issue with passengers um, getting off the train at the start of the service has to stop. There's an ICE-1 over there. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty good. 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 PZB or an LZB, so I will not be using that. Got 
God, I wish there was a way we can stop this flickering. I'm, I'm over that. And I'm so over the passengers just standing there like statues and not even bothering entering the damn train. Passenger service, isn't it? Is it supposed to be a is it supposed to be a passenger service? Because I don't see any passengers on the damn train. Yeah, posted some more videos of uh, some more trains here in Sydney uh, earlier today. I uh, asked for A sets and B sets, which are the commons, common trains we have here in Sydney, passenger trains. And you get, you know, I get the occasion where I'll come across a freight train. Endeavour. Finally got an Endeavour on the YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, I'll start. I've been wanting to get one of those and capture one of those on the channel for quite a while and I finally got one here the other day after a week and uh, yeah, I couldn't believe the XPT um, coming through that time of day though. Uh, it's actually the first time I've gotten an XPT because I know, I don't know where that's going to be honest, it's going up over the mountains. But, um, yeah, it's the first time I've, I've actually captured one on the T1 line. getting an uh, official updated timetable to this uh, later on uh, down the track folks uh, is it going to have issues and stuff like the northeast corridor one well you know you have better hope not but yeah. if it's as good as Bakerloo lines one then uh, yeah that'd be great it's the updated timetable and that's fantastic Rush hour part two. <laughs> yeah, it could be. And the district line makes sense for that. It's a very busy route, so yeah, it could be. I know Richie's already taken off, but uh, if he does, you know, yeah. 
I wouldn't put that theory to bed at all. Um, that's a possibility. I just know the good news is that we're not going to be moving trains to trains in one line. So uh, that gives another year of them. Uh, are they going to move down really? I probably lean towards. I'm like, I, I've, I'm, I've lent towards no for quite a while now. I've like spent, especially after I totally forgot about the PC editor, and uh, now PC editor's out. Yeah, the, the chances of we move into to our Unreal Engine 5 are, are pretty much you know, minus 100, so it's, it's not going to happen. The X12 support also, yeah, like I, I regularly, like I said, I, I would prefer to go experimental DX12, just, yeah, 12 months, the first 12 months of it. They can, uh, I think it makes sense for them to do it this year, though. This year. This is like 24, 25 season, but and then when Frank Simple Five is ready, then go back, go to full X12. But that that's the way I would do it. You got to get that feedback. This is why I, I wish they would um, go back to first preview, second previews with route releases. Um, even if we get delays on releases. We want to see more pure products, and uh, the mess that we're seeing with Fired Circle, a lot of people are very dis disappointed and, um, and showing their anger. They really need to start getting feedback off the community and show previews before they release stuff. And that's just my opinion. Because uh, we used to have that back in the days, I think Southeast and High Speed, and was sort of the last one we did have. And Look at the feedback we got off that they got off from you know from that, and they approved the the route so much within the time period. I think it was a couple of weeks actually, and then they showed the second preview and it was so much better. Um, and yeah, look at it now, it's a gem. Yeah, it's, uh, it's had extensions, it's had improvements over the time as well. Um, so yeah. I'd like to see him go back into those, uh, into second, first preview, second preview, get the feedback off the, the, the premiere from, from, from the forums, you know, and, uh, you know, people commenting on the stream and whatnot, uh, but also people that leave comments from after watching the replay on the stream, you know, not just look at the forum. People talking on Discord, whatever, you know, it's uh, people that are streaming the game, talking about it, uploading, like myself, you know. All feedback is positive feedback, it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. You gotta get, you gotta, they gotta have an understanding where we're coming from, we're the, we're the consumer, we're the ones that, that, that make, you know, that are buying the product, and, you know. Some people might winch and whine and say it's negative, you know, feedback that that people are talking about and they don't like it. They don't. They seriously don't understand. You know, we're not bringing the game down at all. There's no, there's, you know, I'm not bringing the game down at all. I say this. I, I say things out of passion for the game. You know, wanting a better product, wanting to see things improve, and, and it has improved massively over the time. I'm not saying it, but. Like I said, the major problem with the game is the NPCs. They've always copied and pasted over the NPCs over the time period, and they've just made it a massive mess. And they've never, ever, they've always avoided the situation when somebody turns around and says something about the NPCs are standing in front of the doors, you know, for instance, coming off the train, standing in front of the doors. And they don't even think, no. Um, now this treadmill issue going on and going in and out of the train. Uh, uh, I'm worried that that's going to continue. And now, and 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 my and my point exactly, um, I'm not the only one that has seen the passengers on the actual tracks on the bake on the uh, the new route, the overground, and uh, ha and happened to run over them. <laughs> it happened on the live stream the other day. Uh, so yeah, it's. Uh, 
Not just me that's happened to. These are the things we don't want to see. And the worst thing of all, uh, since Train Sim War 3, pretty much the passengers just disappearing out of the middle of nowhere. That was a Train Sim Classic. Cl that's, that's always been a Train Sim Classic thing. And, they, and, it, and it was never a Train Sim War uh, thing until they started doing it. And it's just... Coming into the next station. Here we go. This route's going to look so good when it's getting when it gets updated with the. Uh, I say it'll have the new skybox and everything. I don't see there being the same skybox and everything, especially when they're doing an updated timetable and that. They, they so good. It's a good route, but uh, yeah, it'll be a bit better. Probably Technology Park is next. Oh no. Was that Technology Park? I oh, just. No, no, no. Is it? No. No. Love it. on the platform still hey look at that hey just throw it in there like a cut snake you know too good oh right on the edge too look at that <laughs> couldn't get any better than that hey that was kind of fine and if I didn't hit that emergency button then I yeah, that wouldn't have happened. Ah, uh, Konzingdorf next. Yeah, this flickering of the wires is one of the reasons why they are uh, picking the wires up and they're trying to tackle the uh, damn flickering issue. Uh, it's definitely approved a lot, but they, I wish they actually did all of the wiring fit, you know, not just the ones that are straight. The ones that go on the side here need, need to be done as well. If I was getting fired, circle, yeah, I pre ordered it. Well, 
Wednesday's live stream, Monday's live stream, tomorrow, viewers' choice, and Choo Choo Tuesdays are all up on our YouTube channel, folks. So I set the reminders for them. Viewers Choice tomorrow, we're on the Boston Sprinter tomorrow, Northeast Corridor. So you would have seen that I've put NEC in brackets. We're going to be taking a trip on, first up with the Amtrak. Uh, we've got a police paint job for it tomorrow. Hey, the police are going to be on the rails. Mm, the sound of the police. Watch out. Uh, so we've got a yeah, nice police paint job on the... Uh, ALS 64 and uh, we're taking the M-Fleet cars so uh, from Boston down down the rails and uh, then after that we're taking a, a trip with the uh, free CTC uh, cab car so yeah looking forward to that it's gonna be lots of fun on the Boston Sprinter tomorrow that was your choice from last uh, we had a poll vote last Choo Choo Tuesdays last week on Tuesday for this week's viewers choice uh, we didn't put the pole boat on uh, Tuesday because we had the triple whammy. Sealed air press, so there you go. Um, so yeah, that's Fuel's Choice tomorrow. Live from 8pm in Sydney. 9am UK, 10am Germany. 11 a.m. Egypt, 5 a.m. Eastern USA, and 2 a.m. West Coast USA. If you can't join us live, there'll be a full replay, but obviously you won't be able to vote for the following week's episode. But do note that the uh, live stream is in the upcoming live streams area right now as I'm speaking to you, and the poll vote for, t uh, for next Monday's Viewers' Choice is now up and running, so you can cast your vote in it right now for uh, the following week's episode. Police paint job for the class 37. But that doesn't run on the Boston Sprint of Chris, so that doesn't help. There you go, the class 37 has one as well. based off the uh, 2023 timetable, this uh, modern timetable. We're going to be doing a off the, uh, well it's not really off the rails, uh, it's a free roam on the real timetable. We're going to be taking the Class 3A5 Scott Rail on the, around on the Cath Car Circle Line on uh, our first trip on Choo Choo Tuesdays this Tuesday. And then uh, Wednesday is the big one, ladies and gentlemen. Another special episode of Midweek Wall of Trains. With episode 167. And we're going to be doing Fire Circle. It's going to be another free four hour live stream. Looking forward to it. It's uh, going to be lots of fun. I'll be safe to say I might be doing some off-the-rails stuff on there because I'm going to take a class 6 I'm going to try to get a class 66 on there. I'm going to take a little demonstration through the daytime, see if I can actually do that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can, and uh, we'll, we'll do a freight trip on there. <laughs> Why not? Hey, we've got the options. We can even take a class 700 on there and uh, put the Scott Rail low, uh, livery on there if we want to. <laughs> it's ACDC, so I don't see why not. Taking it on the, uh, I need to get an overground paint job for the class 700 actually, so I can actually take it off to the uh, overground. Train terminates here. Here we go. Oh, what's that over there? Train way over the back there.
Okay. Is it really? Is that the 62? Gotta be AI only. That's cool. Too. This has been updated. That's that's so cool. He's even updated the PSI in here. There are so many options. <laughs> Look at the bed. Uh, can I get to uh, out of service, please? <laughs> oh man, I went the wrong way. Let's just continue. <laughs> and sods there too. Oh my god. All the clowns are there too. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck it. Just waste my time. <laughs> So, have we got, uh, oh, we've got a goal. Okay. So, it sounds like he hasn't even put platinum medals on this. this that That's a disappointment as well. You know what? I'll be brutally honest with you guys. Um, not a big fan of this timetable. Um, I just don't see the benefits at all. Um, so, yeah. Um, maybe the different trains on the track maybe makes it nice. But, yeah, I'd really be honest. Don't see the benefits. Um, so that's a thumbs down for me. All right. Uh, let's head on to the uh, gloss block. Hey, uh, we're going to go here now. Uh, we're going to do the free to free, of course. Um, new livery. Don't even know what it is. Let's just do it. Oh, it's not going to even get a letters. I don't know what's going on with the, the paint jobs. They're not working for the timetable. I noticed this for Crow's Club uh, lately. He just doesn't want to play ball with the paint jobs for some reason. Anyway, um, let's have a look at the services. We're going to do a thunderstorm trip this time around. Uh, thanks for coming, Marcus. Pleasure. Um, we're going to do a thunderstorm trip, aren't we? Because we're going to check out the sounds of the brand new sound mod. Uh, well, it's not. It is brand new to a point. Um, so yeah. Uh, it has, it, this is an old mod, but it's new to Trunks in War 4, but it's uh, old Trunks in War 3 one. Yeah. Uh, like he said, he didn't have to do too much to it because uh, the engine hasn't changed. It's been 426 for so long now. Anyway. Enjoy. Thanks, Marcus, for coming along. Pleasure. Um, see you next time around. Have a great day. Are we starting at Colossal? Ah, oh, okay. I didn't realise that. All good. Uh, hopefully the timetable works this time. <laughs>
can hear a lot of rep um, looping in this, to be honest. Uh, this sound. big fan of this one either to be honest I, I hear a lot of looping and yeah I, I don't like it I don't know it's that's just me yeah it's definitely a down for me thumbs down so a couple dud mods tonight unfortunately uh, there'll be two of them I'll be getting rid of To be to the point, oh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna change the uh, trip to just a normal weather trip. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head back to the Glossford line. I'm gonna do that trip, uh, but I'm I'm gonna do it without the weather, because yeah, um, that sound mod is absolutely shit. All right. <laughs> All right. Gonna do it in the month of June. Nice clear. Nice clear day. Here we go. Yeah, so I'll be getting rid of that uh, sound mod uh, for the weather. It's um, definitely, definitely not uh, nice. I, I heard a lot of looping with it. Um, it doesn't sound natural. Um, it's, um, I ca can't hear any thunder, thunder sounds at all. All I heard is like a big massive woof of wind. Um, so that to me, um, yeah, it's not... Uh, not nice, so I, I, others might like it, but me, nah, I uh, find that to be very, very unnatural, so uh, yeah, I thought it was nice actually in Transit World 3, but I don't know what's going on there, um, yeah, that's a, that's a thumbs down, so, I give that a one out of out of ten. And the reason why I would give a point is that um, obviously, you know, the guys put in some effort, yeah, you, know, you know, time, time and effort to put the mod together and, and release it to the community. So I give it for effort. But um, yeah, there needs to be a lot of work done to that. Uh, we've got a uh, sound, uh, this this mo this timetable is not working. That's the damn ten o'clock one. That's still they still haven't fixed that. Oh, I'm having so many bad problems with this route tonight. Or you know routes, just things are not working. I'm I'm picking dud trips tonight. Um, it's all part of the parcel. Anyway, we are live. Let's do 15 hours 20. I don't give. I don't care where it's at. To be honest. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Here we go. Third time's a charm.
This is a Norman service to Manchester Piccadilly. Calling a Dinton, Broadbottom, uh, Hunsley, uh, Godley, Newton for Hyde, Flurry Field, Guidebridge, Ashbury's, and Manchester Piccadilly. Remember earlier tonight, folks, I did say something about the district uh, route uh, being a possibility for train sim. Well, now, remember, everything I'm saying is only a great, great assault. It's only, it's only speculation. It's not concrete evidence. It's, I've got nothing to do with Dovetail. I'm, you know, I'm not in a beta team. I don't work for Dovetail. I'm not an ambassador for Dovetail. So, like I said, you know, I'm just putting certain pieces together and um, just speculating. And it won't be the full thing. I, I, like I said, if, if anything, if, if I'll lean it more towards... Uh, I'll lean it more towards there being the barking to Victoria. If it's further than that, I'll be like, wow. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be like, cool. But yeah, S7 would be the loco. underground not overground even though it runs above ground um, I think it runs underground in most of the uh, most of the other parts but yeah it's overground underground lines like that as well it's like you know they got the section of underground and then you got the overground Don't even 
even know why that driver assist came up when I clearly had the doors shut. <laughs> ah, some of the things you just question. You know what I would like to see them do? Um, they need to bring in an option where we can get rid of that uh, assist thing on the side. And also, you know how I put this accelerator up and it says power brake handle and, you know, I beep the horn and it says horn, you know, high, horn, low or something like that. I wish we had the option to actually disable that as well so we didn't have to see that. Because they would be two things I would get rid of, 100%. With my style of gameplay. And being a streamer and uploader, it just, yeah, it's sort of, it's annoying those things to pop up. I would keep the heart and everything at the top, that's about, that's all I would. If there's anybody from the uh, page from the uh, New South the New South Wales uh, Rail Fans page uh, up on the stream tonight, get to you. Did uh, join that over the last week because I'm more I'm more joined that because uh, quite interested in other people's content and also you know, I want to share my content uh, to uh, the viewers out there. So I posted some uploads up on there. I had a couple negative. Um, not, not so, they were sort of, sort of negative to me, but uh, it sort of got to the others and I was like, eh, I don't know if that's negative or not. This, I posted a couple of photos of uh, a loco that my mate, uh, my mate's a road, he's a, he, he works for, um, on like on the sides of roads and that. So, uh, yeah, he's one of those people that work on the sides of roads and stuff. They do the poles and all that. They have to stop, you know, put witches ads and all that out, and, you know, guide traffic and stuff. So he's a traffic controller. And, um, yeah, when he when he has time out, he does uh, some, some stuff from time to time for, for, for me, you know, because he knows I'm a rail fan, he knows I love trucks, and he knows I love trains. So, um, came across this train when he was working up at Lithgo and um, I didn't even know what it was I, you know I'll be honest I haven't been to Lithgo since I was a kid so um, it's um, it was quite interesting so I shared it with I just put the photos up and the guy was like oh can we have some information of what it, you know more information and like I didn't realize it was replied to until today because I haven't had the time or anything to get on the Facebook or anything so um, I did reply today and I said that uh, I don't know what it is my mate sent me the photo well, I was on it so you know I said my mate sent me the photo because he knows I'm a rail fan and I found it quite interesting so I thought I'll share it but there was a couple of people on there that actually said what loco it was but you know to save the hassle and all the crap that, it was, that I seen on there I just deleted the photos off, off there so you know I just, I didn't, I didn't want to see smack on there, and I just don't bother dealing with those, those types anymore. I haven't, I haven't gone, gone away from the page or anything. There's, you know, it's just I don't bother fighting back. You know, trolls are trolls, and that's it. You always got to come across trolls, you know, and people that are going to try to bring you down in life. But you know what? You know the best way to fight those type of trolls? Don't let them get to you and just keep moving on. Because at the end of the day, they just make, they have to be a douchebag. They're 
this, Giles, because they can't do what you do. And like, you know, if I'm a, if I, if I like, if I like doing what I like to do, you know, people will continue to thumbs thumbs up. That I appreciate that. Thumb, the people that want to thumbs down, you know, they're the type of people that have got no guts to really speak to you like a man. You know, they want to run away. But I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it, I, I laugh at it at the end of the day. And I bring it up all the time because I just, I, not all the time, but I bring it up from time to time. Because um, I like to show them that they're not winning. Like I did, I do what I do. It's my passion. I have a passion for something. Everybody's got a hobby and a passion for something, you know. So don't hide, hide it. Express it, you know. I have people that come on here that are like-minded people, like Chris, like Marcus, like Richie Rails, uh, that come on here. The railway guy, you know. Um, they come on here share the same passion for trains and that the people that that come on here and say oh where are you from um and and want to ask a million questions on all this stuff you know straight away that they're scammers they're they're trying to to you know say this and that and you know straight away they're no real rail fan a rail fan doesn't doesn't disc anything of trains Like I said, I'm not a big fan of steam trains and that, but I don't diss it. I'm not a big fan of freight. I don't disc it, you know. Like, it doesn't, like, yeah. Anyway, I've uh, opened up the wrong doors. <laughs> Everybody just get off all this side, please. Uh, and, um... Yeah, you can go through the bush. <laughs> set up the fire and yeah, set up the campsite and that's it. <laughs> oh, I closed both of the doors at the same time. I even closed, like, there you go. Look at that. I closed the doors on this side, but it closed both doors. Fair enough. Gotta be an issue, surely. Uh, is, is this a Piccadilly train calling all stations? Manchester Piccadilly, um, not all stations, Chris, no. Most of the stations, yeah, but, uh, it, uh, doesn't stop at Fairfield, um, and a couple other stations. I think it's like two or three stations, not, not stopping at. 
There's not many services that I've had actually that have stopped with Fairfield. Actually, I, I don't think I've. Yeah. Don't know what what that's what, why that is, but uh, yeah, there's not many stops that stop at Fairfield on this route. Newton for Hyde is next. Well, this is this was originally part of the old uh, Woodhead route, uh, line, which was uh, absolute classic in train sim classic. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot of people were hoping that they would have done the Woodhead line. I hope, we, I hope they do in one day, do do it in one, um, in the future, but, uh, yeah, it would be nice to see the, uh, the old route back. In what era would they do it in, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe British Blue era, uh, I think it would be nice to see it, see it added back in, but, I don't know, uh, what would be the best era to put it in? Flowery Field next. Flowery Field. There's not that much of a gap between that station and this one. Yeah, what sort of got me with the Easter egg is uh, when you go to um, for the London Overground. When you go to Barking Station, there's a little, there's a small poster uh, saying "Season One now showing," and um, then you got that poster, that big one, and it says "Season Two coming summer 2024." So you put two and two together, it's obvious that you know there's a second season, second year of Training Sim World Four. Um, so yeah, um, that uh, puts Training Sim World Five into more be in September, October, in uh, 2025. Playfair, buy before you board. Visit our app or at the station. Northern. Travelling without a ticket could result in a fine or criminal record. Mm. Won't have to worry about that second one. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't travel without a ticket. Or you know, obviously, it's a Opal card, which is uh, like the Oyster card that they have in London. Next stop is Guide Bridge.
Yeah, well, like I said, Chris, um, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do it for the back catalogue, but uh, I think some of the back catalogue might might end up getting it. Not all of it. I'd say South Eastern High Speed would definitely be one on the list. Um, there's Fairfield Station, folks. Um, I, um, like I said, I think the announcements thing for passenger uh, for um, at the stations where it's gone to and whatnot, and uh, inside the trains is going to become more of a feature. I know, you know, you got your little options here with uh, River Games with their Scott Rail stuff, and obviously uh, their re first release of Just Trains as route. Uh, so yeah. Um, for it to be an official feature for uh, Dovetail themselves, it um, I say that the the overground route will eventually be one of them as well uh, with the Southern Jet Line. But yeah, I uh, say it'll be part of this year's season two core update. They could surprise us and end up being in the spring update. I, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, I, I lean more towards uh, it being the uh, the major core for this year. And that is, uh, that's Gorton, uh, folks. Uh, that is uh, also a station we... Uh, go through. So yeah, the dovetail, like they've already, uh, Matt's already openly talked about the announcements. Uh, they even would have liked to have had them in for uh, in, uh, London, but they obviously they he's already admit, admitted that he, they're looking more into it, and uh, I say it's definitely getting work behind the scenes. And uh, yeah, they're already planning things for uh, season two, for especially for release, uh, launch of the uh, the next year's content, for the uh, the normal package we get. They'll package it up and. Uh, you know, price it up and like they normally do with the around the standard normal price of the core updates that we get each you know each year. And uh, is it all going to be released in one go, or are they going to? If uh, like uh, Richie said, it is going to be rush out too. I will lean more towards it being where they'll drip feed it over the uh, course of um, you know September, October, November. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get a little release at uh, Christmas time as well. Yeah, maybe in December, but. Uh. Yeah, unfortunately, we've had a couple duds tonight. Timetables. I sort of, I sort of, when I was looking through it earlier, even earlier today, with the Arkham timetable mod, I was sort of like, this is not really beneficial. I don't see really many benefits, sort of. Yeah, I thought it was more of a, oh, just adding. Adding, adding more logos and stuff. I, I don't know. I just don't think it's uh, you know it's going to do any good. So maybe before I show it to you guys tonight. So. Did get a comment. Uh, somebody saying that the uh, on the Toronto commuter uh, modern timetable, the train uh, with the uh, that I did was goofy. <laughs> Somebody said the train was goofy. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sort of like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't reply to it. I just, I thought I'll reply to it here on the stream. I, I thought, yeah, it's um, it's quite you know unique and uh, it's gooshy. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I, I respect that opinion. That's so good. Chester. Okay, there we go with that one. That is a gold medal. Should be no problems. Yes. All right. Very good. Ah. You're on the 79th edition of All Aboard Live. This is our Sunday tradition train sim world action. We're going to be on again. Um, we're going to actually... Um, we not might be on next Sunday, actually. It's Easter Sunday next Sunday. Uh, so um, at the moment, I can't say yes, I can't say no, because I, I could be I could be somewhere on next Sunday. So uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is a long weekend. So I might be away uh, until Monday uh, next week. So uh, do note that next week's All Aboard, it could not be on. So yes or no. Uh, if you see it get posted on the YouTube channel, then we're definitely going to be on. But at the moment, I can't say yes, I can't say no, because it being Easter. So, um, yeah. Uh, we will be on Easter Monday, though, for um, the uh, viewer's choice on that night. But, uh, yeah, because it is Easter, um, I will be away that weekend, actually. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, which is next week. All right. All uh right. What are we going to do now? Uh, we have uh, uploaded video premieres coming up later on today on our YouTube channel. Uh, don't forget that. 
Um, we are going to head back now to the London Overground. All right, London Overground action. All right, it is timetable mode. Uh, uh, time now. And uh, let's now do a class. Uh, what can we do with this one, actually? Let's see what the... Um, drive this light engine. Oh, it's only the engine itself. Are you serious? I wonder what this one is. Oh, drive... Oh, okay. So that one's the same. Lol. Um, okay. Class 66 action. Um... I'm going to see if I can find these, uh, see, it doesn't say what, what they are, that they, you can drive. This is what pees me off. The information that should tell you what containers, like if you're using FKAs or, um, you know, what containers you're actually uh, taking, that would be where I would lean it towards. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Um... Right. This is do this ten thirty one. I uh, hope you do enjoy. Uh, so this is uh, from Ripple Lane to Gospel Oak. Oh, that's the same way as we went before. Um, you know what? Let's just do a let's just do a passenger service. That'll be better. Um, and we will do a night one. Uh, let's. Uh, where we got to go? Twenty one hours uh, from Gospel Oak. Yep, that sounds delightful. Uh, I will do this in the month of, uh, let's see, May, and I'm going to do it with Misty. All right, a night Misty run. Let's, en let's enjoy this one. Shall be lots of fun. Our final trip on this week's All Aboard. This is the 2J21 Gospel Oak service uh, to Bugging Riverside, and it is on a misty night on North East London. Woof! That is bright. TP. <laughs> she is bright. Now that's what I call light. Time now for a classic photo. Let's do it. Oh wow, look at that. They got the uh, backdrop there. Wow. That's crazy. in the background it looked, it looked really good last well, couple of photos I think the first one was better than the first one so. all right uh, once we'll open up those doors again because we are waiting for the uh
Just thinking, have I got the fog uh, lights on high or have I got them on the other setting? Just give me a quick, quick second. Oh yeah, it's on, it's on ultra. Hey, I'm a hey gone. Um, I do agree about the uh, district line. Um, I doubt it would be the full route. Yes, of course. Yes, 100%. That's what I was thinking it would be from Barking uh, down to uh, maybe Victoria or something like that. I just think the, all, the, all the signs are there. Um, They've already, I've already looked at the Easter egg and it says season two coming summer 2024 and it, you know, it's got the city um, and it looks like it's London and uh, I just think you know we, we can see London when you when you got that curve right there the city's right in the gut and I'm just thinking like the, the obvious it's um, you know the first time that London's been seen in any routing train symbol well, with the actual official like the buildings in it uh, so it, it just looks like more obvious that it's going to be the case. Um, it could end up being rush hour uh, 2.0, whatever they want to call it. I'm, I'm still leaning towards Transformer 4 Season 2 as the naming. But yeah, no, it, no way would it be the whole route. It's just way too many stations. <laughs> and there's branches and all that too, so it just you know, would it be classified as branches if it was transferred. It's just the S7 is uh, such a hard train to drive in Train Sim Classic. It's, yeah, it's if they do it like they did with the full handle, you got to twist it. It's uh, it's a very complicated one, but uh, yeah, I, I just think, think we're definitely overdue for another over underground route, uh, even though it is a lot of it's overground. I can't remember. I do know I have it. Uh, is it part of the? Is it? Yeah. I have it in some sort of format. I think it's part of a mod, uh, mod like just a m routes have been converted into one massive network on Trainsim Classic. I'm just thinking, is it, is it the one that was built? Oh yeah, definitely. But I think these lights are, are I'll be honest, Samuel, these lights are like really overpowering in the, in the fog and mist. I just, yeah, if this was on the, um, 
the OBB 4024, uh, then yeah, this would be great. But I, I would tone these down. I don't know. I, I just think they're way too much. It's just weird because everybody's been complaining for so many years about how we go for these tunnels and there's no lights in front of the train. It's like, and now they put them on and it's just like, it's way too much. <laughs> we, we, we just have a balance in the middle. That'd be great. Yeah, I think the bargain. Yeah, I was just having a look, uh, a little quick look at the mapping of it to, uh, tonight, and I seen Victoria was there. I'm like, oh, well, well, that's interesting. Um, it'll give more options for the, uh, for that. I found that weird, actually, being in Victoria. Is there, under, is there an underground section of that station as well? Of London, Victoria. I still would be disappointed if they don't do West Coast Mainline though for, for Train Symbol like release this year, but now sort of now it actually isn't uh, going to be TSW5. I'm maybe thinking uh, that's okay if it's not, but I did have the theory after we got East Coast that surely the year after we would get West Coast. I know we've had drips and drabs and bits and pieces of West Coast on, you know, around it and whatnot. Just, you know, we're like a full blown route of it. I am a big fan of the uh, West Coast mainline though from uh, Essendon to Birmingham on Tracer Classic. I know that's way too much for TSW and wouldn't go that far. I don't don't see it going that far. I would probably say lean it towards more than just a rubbery or something like that. But yeah, it sort of wouldn't make sense if they did that. But anyway. They uh, will eventually, uh, it is a very popular route with the Class 390. Yes. Yeah, the Panelino, yes. Yeah, I don't see it going um, all the way though. That's, um, that's just what I think they would, uh, I would love to see it do it, but yeah, everybody I've spoken to has basically said it would be able to go down to maybe um, uh, Milton Keynes, I think was the other one. I was thinking, yeah, you know, the TFL routes they would have done another overground route. They might still lead that way. Um, and I think the one that would probably be the, 
the basic knowledge one would be up to Gosmore Oak to down to Stratford. But, uh, uh, Stafford or whatever, yeah, to, they've got the Westfield there and all that. Um, that makes sense because that'll be the top section of the international stations underneath. They call it international because it is along the, um, it is along the, uh, the channel. Can't even see the uh, like the skyline. <laughs> so it, it's it's gone, disappeared. It's in the fog. <laughs> I reckon this is misty though. Damn, this is way. Well, imagine it. God, if this was in fog mode, this would be worse. I haven't taken this route on, on an actual full-blown fog. This is certainly misty setting. So yeah, I can imagine this being in fog. Man, this would be... Like, you can hardly see much in front. Like, it just pops in and all that. That's, yeah. I don't know. what This would look like crazy in fog. That's the point. Now, now I'm speeding again. So I'm not even looking at the top right hand corner, I'm just concentrating right in front. I'm not even bothering with the speed limits of that. I don't really care about speeding anyway, it's you know, just here having fun. But uh, yeah, I sort of like I like to keep in that limit. Yeah, London's definitely disappeared because you you can see it right in over around there, even from this uh lake area here. It's not far from the top of them actually. Um, I'm uh, what do you think about Fire Circle? Disappointed, only 97 services. Um, I'm disappointed they haven't got the uh, gotten that freight on there. I, I thought there'd be freight on there. Um, oh, the Bakerloo, the old Bakerloo timetable was bigger than '97, though. Um, yeah. Well, it's criticised because the wrong. The, they reckon they gave it the sources for the for the uh, sounds and everything, but that's a lot of BS. Because um, the sounds are completely off, um, and I'm I'm gonna say that I, I'm so disappointed with Rivet on this one. Uh, after their, like, I was a big fan of their last Switzerland the Switzerland route they released um, early here in 2024 uh, I think it's their best ever released in my opinion and that's just Meg uh, I just think the scenery and, and everything on that route was just absolutely stunning and they've gone You're from that jam to this yeah you know, obviously the the cream the, the the centerpiece of this route is the bridge like the fourth bridge and and you know uh, Fifth bridge and all that, and say, so, um, yeah, that's the centerpiece of the route. But when you get over the other side of the bridge, you go past the bloody station. Where the f did you know? What, there was no stop for that for that station. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? You, they, you gotta stop there. <laughs> I shook my head when they went past. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, are you serious? It's like the Glossop line. Like, that's what I was saying. I've hardly stopped at Fairfield in that on that route. And it's like, what the hell are they doing there for? <laughs> like, 
you've got to put these services in there so we can actually do these, you know? That goes back to my theory before of how I said, uh, you know, all the passengers come flying off the train at the start of the service and it leaves the train with no one in it. It's like, is it the passenger service or is it, or is it just the empty service to back to the depot? You know what I mean? Like, it's... Like if you're going to do that, you you know you'll do a service like I did earlier today, and I've got to upload a video. I'm going to I'm going to post it up on the channel later on. It's going to premiere within the next 24 hours. Uh, I did an empty service back to the South Sliding on the Bakerloo line. Yeah, that's an empty service with no passengers. You don't do it on a real service. It doesn't matter where the, where you know if the trains come from some like the portal and that. Train, the passengers are supposed to wait on the platform and then enter the train. Treat it like it's a start of a service and go from there. No, they don't want to do that. And every time we lean toward, uh, like we say something on their live streams or whatever, or on the forums about the passengers and how they're broken and all this, and they, it's like out one ear out the other. They just don't listen. They always steer away from the hard truth. And River Gate, uh, River Dovetail, like all of them, they've been like it since day one. And the only person that had the guts to say the truth was Sam, and that's why he doesn't work for them anymore. Because he was the only one that had the the balls to step up. And speak the truth. disappointed I'm so disappointed I watched a little bit of the preview and I'm like the sounds of this they reckon they got them the when when I heard them turn around saying they got them the sort from the from them and there and then they started thanking Scott Ray of oh, oh, like half of my ass off I'm like you gotta be kidding this sounds off massively it does not sound like the class 170 I'm like oh please it's your 165 come to our rescue can you release this on launch day? <laughs> Sound mod now. <laughs> I don't know about this train, if it sounds right or not. Um, I haven't heard this train in real life, so I've got to watch a video and just listen to it carefully. And, um, hopefully there's videos of it, in the sounds inside the interior and all that as well, so I can get a like, proper understanding, not just outside and they're taken off the stations and all that. i just got to you know, have proper you know, footages and listen to it and make my judgment that way and think, well, you know, this needs a sound mod. And, yeah, you know, traction motors are off and all this. Yeah, you know, I've got to listen to them. Yeah. You I know a few people have said that the, the lighting at the stations are pretty dull on this route. Well, I have to say that they're actually lit up quite well.
If you see anything suspicious, please tell a member of staff or the police. Or just tell me. <laughs> Anyway, I've said a lot. I've, I've, been, I've probably been a, a very whinging person tonight, uh, but like I explained earlier tonight, um, I'm not whinging. I'm looking for improvements across the field. And uh, sounds have always been a number one major issue with all, Dovetail from like the word get-go. Um, yeah, as much as they try to spin the web, say they've got this source from this or that, you know, whatever. Um, they really need to start working with the community more, uh, more. and these modders, they really need to uh, look at these modders more, so I, I know they keep saying they work with mod uh, talk with modders and stuff, but with the sound ones, they really need to start getting a relationship, build their relationship better with them, so they start getting the sort the right sources the right sounds from these modders and uh, you know at the right price and whatnot and pay you know pay them the right money for royalties and stuff for you know going out there and getting the recordings and all that because that's what it's your does he goes out and gets recordings and there you go. it's fantastic you know it's very professionally well done you know and he's always uh, you know getting improvements and stuff and I was so critical with that bloke at first but I, it's just grown on me so much uh, now I can't you know every every sound body he has and release you know I just gotta get it it's really really good but unfortunately the piece that the, the console players suffer so this is what I'm saying that they need to start getting a better relationship with the modders uh, especially with source, uh, sourcing the sounds. Yeah, well, the Goblin Lime uh, was um, this is this route, yeah. In reality, um, I think it's four services per hour. But this is a very heavily populated uh, freight route. Like it's, it's a massive freight corridor. So yeah, if you wanted to, um, like if you if people lived in the area, you know, or whatever, or you, you, you're in the London region, you know, you get up around here, if you want to get videos and shorts and recordings of uh, doing train spotting, and you, you, you're into freight more, then this, this, is, this is the route to come to. Uh, yeah, if I, uh, if I ever get myself over there, I would definitely be coming up through here. Uh, doing some, doing a, a day up in the uh, London, London, East London area for sure. Uh, yeah, that's my dream. If I ever win the lotto, that's it. My rail tour begins. I'll be going around some of the world's great routes. Uh, my ultimate dream, obviously, uh, is um, I'm a massive fan of uh, the Deutsche Bahn. And uh, as much as I can't use PZB, LZB on the trains because that system is just absolutely shocking. And I just can't work it out. I've never been able to. Um, I just, yeah, such a massive fan of the ICE. And uh, yeah, I, lo I love high speed trains. But uh, it's, uh, the ICE has uh, always captured my eye.
my ultimate favourite train of all time is you know, here in my home city of Sydney, Australia. And I've unfortunately, I've retired when I was young. Uh, but uh, the Red Rattler was an uh, absolutely beautiful train. The only, pr the only reason why I did retire was because it was old and it was, you know, no air conditioning and, you know, it was a sweat bucket and, you know, not nice to be in a train like that with no air conditioning on a 40 Celsius day. <laughs> so, you know, it's uh, not pretty. Uh, but the seating was beautiful. You know, you could fall asleep in the thing in two seconds. Uh, it was nice suspension, like a trampoline. Like, it was, it was like, <laughs> the seats were old school. So, nice and comfortable, not like these hard rocks that we have these days. There's only one trainer that, that has that style still, and that's the, um, the V-sets that I've been doing, the inner city V-sets. They, their seats are very, very comfortable. And you can uh, flip the seats over one way and flip the seats over the other way as well. So you can uh, have it backwards or you can have it frontwards. Yeah. Depending what way the train's going, you can, yeah, you can flip them either way. So yeah, it's very good. I would have gave this a 10 if it wasn't for the NPCs issue, like the passengers prob uh, issues that are on this route, like the coming off the train stand in front of the doors and that. But that's more. That's got more to do with the core, the uh, NPCs, or the passengers. Well, they call them NPCs, the passengers. So uh, yeah, it's got to do with that. That's the only thing I can really pick on. It's, as far as everything else, it's great. But I'm not sure what the sounds. I, I don't know if they. I like the sounds of the, the sound. It's nice, but uh, the horn is quite nice. I uh, can't complain about the horn. Hear some crackling over, like, listen to this. You can clearly hear the crackling in the, in the sound there and uh, when you're going over the tracks. So that to me is, yeah, not too pretty. Um, there is floating items on the route as well, which uh, need to be addressed. Uh, apparently one of the PSIs is around the wrong way as well at one of the stations along here. So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll definitely get a patch that'll fix stuff and whatnot. God knows when that is because obviously we're, we're still waiting on a patch for... Uh, I think we're still waiting on a patch for the... Uh, Salzburg Rosenheim as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, maybe maybe we'll have to wait until the spring up spring court we know. I say that for you next month maybe. Yeah, so I think the Austrian route would be next uh, on the list for the releases. Um, so that, that'll that be the April DLC. I would lean towards the late half of April. And I'm thinking it's going to release on the school holidays here. In, the school holidays are going to be on here in, here in Sydney, Australia. And I have to look after my daughter for those two weeks. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there might be a DLC launch. He got uh, one of the days I've got to look after my daughter. So, 
Unfortunately, if that's the case, I might not be able to get those introduction videos um, out straight away because I'll be uh, with my daughter. And I won't be able to bring her over here because all she'll do in the background is just say egghead every five minutes. <laughs> just call me egghead. Because she knows I got no hair normally. I don't have hair norm in summer, folks. When I when summer comes, that's it. My head get my head, no hair. That's it. Shave bald. <laughs> so she calls me egghead. <laughs> and she thinks it's funny. But I, I play along with it. You know. <laughs> She's a kid. My daughter, she's got a cheeky attitude. She's very, she's like me, she's smart, cheeky attitude. Yeah. She's, I, as soon as I see her attitude and everything, yeah, hundred percent like me. When I was, yeah, it's all over. Parking is coming up next. All right. Yeah, we're coming up here already. Speedy Gonzales. That's what happens when you want to get a nice camera angle. There's that Easter egg. I'm going to take you guys on the Easter egg actually after this. Um... Actually, I might be able to pop it up here actually. Let me just start. Uh... See if I can get it done. We're, we're already three minutes behind the eight ball anyway, so I don't really care about the time or points or anything like that. Yeah, points. Levels or anything. Yeah, that doesn't require me. You don't get that for enjoying trains in real life, do you? It's all about the experience, not, not how long it takes. Um, there is a billboard here. It's over here. All right, so, uh, messages. From, uh, this is the Easter egg, folks. This is the part one of the Easter egg. Messages, some messages, are best left unread. New, C, uh, new series streaming now. DGTV. That's Dovetail. Yeah. Dovetail TV. All right. And then here is part two. Messages, they answered. Season 2, Summer 2024. And there you go. And that over there, that building just there, is London Bridge. <laughs> so, there you go. Now showing Season 1. Season 2, Train Symbol 4, Season 2, Core Update, Summer 2024. Because they got that beam of light in the gut, I, um, yeah. think it's an underground route. Interesting. Yeah, there's eggs. And the other routes. Yeah, there could be other Easter eggs actually leading into it. Um, where we'll get a, a clue on... Because I'm thinking that's a UK clue. <laughs> the UK route. And we, we could have clues for the 
the US route and then have clues for the well, if they do Austria or Germany or whatever they do they might even do the Japan one for the tour this year who knows we can't say that we could be getting a German release now like because we had the technically more of Austria at launch for TSW4 That's a mod, folks, uh, with the uh, containers. <laughs> so they give the different companies of the FKAs. speeding again. I don't think I'll be getting a platinum on here. I've spent so many times on this trip that <laughs> I feel like Van Diesel on the rails. Oh well, as they say, winning's winning. <laughs> It's uh, lighting up very nice. Times people have done that on the keyboard. <laughs> I certainly have. <laughs> on an actual keyboard, not a computer keyboard. <laughs> Fucking Riverside, our final destination, terminating train, all off, all change. the gap when departing the train.
Okay, there we go. Uh, yes, I sped one, two, three. Jesus Christ. If that was in train scene. A series of platinum medals still. Oh my God. If that was in uh, Train Sim Classic, I would have lost 5 million points. <laughs> That's why I hate the point system on there. Anyway, don't play Train Sim Classic too often anymore. It's, you know, here and there. Nothing really, you know, all the time. Uh, anyway, that includes this week's uh, All Aboard. Over three hours of entertainment fun. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with Viewer's Choice. Uh, viewer's Choice, you guys selected... Uh, on last Tuesday's Choo Choo Tuesdays on our poll vote on our live community chat here uh, for the Boston Sprinter, Northeast Corridor. That's where we're heading tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be doing a trip with the Amtrak. We're going to be doing, uh, which is a police design of the Amtrak. And uh, the Amtrak cars are normal, but the the uh, area is 64 at the front is a police livery. And uh, then we're going to be doing a trip with the um, the CTC, uh, the uh, free, free TC or whatever they call it. The uh, the other side of the uh, other train with the uh, the T, uh, the one with the pink stripe on the side. So yeah, we're going to be doing a couple trips on the Boston Sprinter. It's going to be absolutely fun. Looking forward to it. Viewer's Choice is live on Monday, the 25th of March, 2024 from 8 p.m. in Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, Hobart, Australian Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Uh, 7 p.m. Queensland, 7.30 p.m. in South Australia, 6.30 p.m. Northern Territory, 5 p.m. Western Australia, 10 p.m. New Zealand, 9 a.m. UK, 10 a.m. Central Europe, 4 a, uh, 5 a.m. Oh, sorry, I'm so used to their, their time zone and now it's changed. 5 a.m. in Eastern States of the USA and Toronto, Canada, and 2 a.m. West Coast USA and British Columbia, Canada, and 11 a.m. in Egypt. We will see you then. For viewer's choice, that is tomorrow's live stream. The poll vote for the following Monday's viewer's choice is now up on that live stream. And the live stream is in our upcoming live streams area on our home screen. Set a reminder for it. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a great day.